I'm Stephen Mansfield, and the title of my book is The Mormonizing of America. I wrote this book because Mormons, though there are only about six million of them in America, uh, have an unbelievable influence on our culture. Uh, I'm not inherently saying that influence is evil or suspect, but you have, uh, as we sit here right now, we're really living in a Mormon moment in America. The Book of Mormon's the biggest play on Broadway. Uh, Mitt Romney's uh, at least one of the lead Republican contenders for president. Uh, Glenn Beck is one of the biggest uh, broadcasters in America. You have 13 or 14 Mormons in Congress. The woman who wrote the Twilight series that's so popular about vampires, Stephanie Meyer, she's a Mormon. I think Mormonism is a faster growing religion in America because the Mormons know something that a lot of other religious organizations don't, and that is people want to belong before they believe. Uh, you know the old song from, from the Cheers the theme song, you know, you want to go where everybody knows your name. They give community. And all of that gives people a belonging that then leads to belief, uh, whereas other religious organizations tend to insist on belief and then offer belonging. And the Mormons, I think, have it the right way. And frankly, they, uh, they do far better than most Christian churches, and I speak as a Christian. There are a number of doctrines of Mormonism that really concern Americans and because they're so outside of the American sort of Judeo-Christian mainstream. Uh, probably the one that's the most controversial is the law of eternal progression. Uh, it's the idea that the God over our planet now was once a man and that males who are good Mormons will one day be gods over their own planet. And then for evangelicals and traditional Christian types, uh, you know, there's, the, there's also the concern that Mormonism only holds that Jesus Christ introduces us to God, his work on the cross only introduces us to God, but then men have to work out their salvation uh, with rituals and works and things of that nature. What I want people to take away from my book, first of all, uh, is an understanding of who Mormons are, what they believe, what their history is. The second thing I hope people come away uh, from uh, my book with is an understanding of how amazing it is that Mormons have achieved the level of influence they have today. And of course, what that influence is. What's the vision? What's the agenda? Where would Mormons take us if they could? Is Mormonism Christianity? Is it a cult? Are its doctrines in any way dangerous or insidious? What would it mean if we all became uh, Mormon? What would that mean for men, women, families, the future of the country? I think there's a good debate to be had. And speaking and writing as a Christian, I don't mind exploring those, those issues of Mormonism. And I also don't mind saying uh, whether I believe it's Christianity or not, uh, and what I believe it would do to our nation if it was given greater prominence. So all of those things are the things I hope to educate about, but also prompt some uh, and stir some debate and some discussion and some critical thinking that'll hopefully lead to a you know, stronger nation, better politics.